Good morning. This is Bill from out of Europa, Naples on a mercifully quiet few moments here. Uh, the construction has gone silent, which is just fantastic. So I'm going to take the opportunity to bring you this uh, 2002 BMW 325ci Cabrio. Well, now we've got, now they're making noise over at Porsche, so eh, you can't win. Anyway, this is a very special car, and not just because of what it is. You know, the fourth generation, three series, the E46, absolutely beloved by BMW fans around the world. This particular car is a uh, local one-owner vehicle, just 30,000 miles, been garaged and maintained beautifully since new, service records, accoutrements. Uh, it's just one of those really rare, fantastic condo car finds that I just love to, to get. I mean, it's just so nice to have a time machine like this. Look at the clarity of the headlamps, absolutely incredible. Uh, beautiful front bumper treatment with the fogs down low. Uh, good looking uh, seven star alloy wheels with Michelins on there. Straight down both sides. Just a terrific, terrific time capsule. And the E36 design was really one of the most attractive three series ever made. Uh, genuinely stout, sporty, Teutonic, understated and somewhat elegant, uh, you know, in, in not the same way an E-cab is, but uh, in the way a BMW can be while still retaining all that sporty driver's machine feel. More telephone calls. We'll get back to him in a minute. Uh, anyway, you can see everything lovely here and let's just get right into it. So uh, we're going to start inside the trunk. A very, very useful four-seat convertible for a, uh, sorry, trunk for a four-seat convertible. Uh, BMW with all their nice little compartmentalized stuff to put stuff and the original mats. This is a battery cover underneath here, a little spare tire thing you can pull up with the spare underneath, place to hide the crown jewels and everything just nice and lovely in there. Sun's coming out, which is kind of a shame. Always makes the videos look weird, but hopefully it ducks behind a cloud again. Uh, here inside the factory toolkit, all very unmolested and lovely. You got your pliers, your wrenches. If you want to do some work on the car yourself, you're going to be able to. If you want to pull that tire iron out and club someone over the head with it, you can do that too. Uh, this big divider here, when the top is up, you can pull out this handle push down on it and it gives you all that space where the top is stored for extra cargo. You won't be able to run the top at that point, but if you need extra cargo, you can get it. Have a look under the hood. I'm just telling this thing is such a time machine. I like the little prong that comes out of the kidney grill. Okay, so there is BMW's incredible M54 engine. This is the uh, uh, 2.5 liter variant, about 190 horse, silky smooth, lovely, made into a five-speed automatic that shifts like butter. Uh, this is just one of the best inline six engines that was ever built, and it, it just shows. I mean, when you're driving it, the response, again, it's not a rocket ship, uh, the 325, but it's good on gas, gives you ample power, incredible smoothness, lovely torque curve, lovely driver's feel, and just everything really nice under there. So, uh, very, very nice engine to see under the hood of this thing. And with 30,000 miles, everything is just mint, absolutely mint uh, under the hood of the car. Uh, all Florida too, so no corrosion at all. Okay, inside, this does have the sport package, which is nice. It gives you these extendable thigh supports, lovely. Uh, it has dual power seats with driver memory. Uh, beautiful, comfortable, supportive leather bucket seats. I mean, they keep you in there without being invasive. They don't hurt your back. they quite the opposite. They're nice and proper to sit in, and uh, everyone's going to be real chipper with that. You also get a pretty usable back seat, certainly for kids, and again, you can always stuff your Canadians in there and they're going to be pretty happy. Uh, everything lovely, nice leather, nice little wood trim, all looking proper. Uh, these rear headrests, they are uh, not just headrests, but give you uh, rollover protection. The back end of those pop off in the event of trouble, shoot up and uh, give you head protection in case of a rollover. So a nice safe feature there. Door panel, beautiful leather bunched over the real wood. 
nice soft materials, lovely, just lovely the way these things go together. The 3 Series are so nice and tight and just look and feel more expensive than they are. Uh, you can see it's got the Harman Kardon speaker, your power mirror controls, a little map pocket to throw a 9mm down there. Uh, everything just nice and proper. Let's get in and fire it up. So again, being sort of a one owner garage queen type thing, we got three keys with this car, and in fact two leather fob covers that he never used, which is just a miracle. Never seen those uh, new before. I mean, I've seen a couple of shredded ones come in, but to actually find a new one in the box or in the wrapper is pretty cool. Uh, you can see a beautiful sporty instrument cluster, gives you everything you need, your fuel, your, you know, miles per hour, your tack, your water temp, uh, a lot of driver information stuff down there, like uh, all these are the idiot lights if you have any trouble. Uh, if you open a door, it shows you which door is open. Nice. There you see just 31,000 miles on the clock. Lovely. All the pixels in great shape, no fading or falling out, just perfect. Uh, P is for park and of course uh, the seatbelt warnings on because I'm not wearing it. Uh, over here you've got your headlights, not automatic, you're in control of them, which I like. I'm not a big fan of automatic headlights. Makes it, it makes you just lazy. When you turn them on you hit this guy for your fogs, you can change your dimmer controls here. Lovely. Uh, you have a nice multifunction steering wheel. This gives you your radio controls. Uh, it looks like it has voice command, which I didn't realize. It's hard to believe. Let's see. Let's see if that's true. So we can turn the volume here. Let's see if voice command works. No, so that's part of some uh, BMW phone that you could have got in 02, which I'm sure isn't current enough to work anymore. Uh, anyway, nice little airbag, beautiful leather steering wheel, nice to grip, everything feels good. Uh, you've got BMW's business CD there for mergers, acquisitions, accounting, uh, any business you want to conduct, you can do it right through that CD player. Uh, you've got a, uh, of course, automatic climate control. Uh, all the pixels, again, nice on the radio and the climate, no falling out there. Uh, you know, just shows the good ownership this car had. Air works great, heat works great, all very lovely. Uh, you've got a neat little compartment there for sunglasses or narcotics. Uh, this guy's going to cover up an actual bona fide ashtray if you want to take up smoking. This is going to run the power top, which we'll do in a second. Uh, this is dynamic stability control. Uh, you know, it's a great traction control system that keeps you glued to the pavement. Uh, lovely wood and leather shift, uh, you know, gear change assembly there. All very nice, mint, no fading, cracking, just lovely. Uh, you got your four-way power windows. This one runs all four at once. And if you want to be a little sporty and bang your way through the gears, you can do it this way. And you can see we're going M1 through M5. It is a five-speed automatic in here. This runs your hazards. That's a lock and unlock. You got some little cup holders there. Got a little place to uh, put some change here if you want to go through tolls. Another little spot to put stuff. This guy opens up somehow. There's a little button and there's some place in there to put stuff. Uh, in here in the glove box, this is all fantastic. So we've got the original window sticker with the car, lovely to see. Uh, not cheap for a 325 Cabrio. In 02, this thing was 43.4, so uh, pretty cool. You can see it has the premium package, the sport package, uh, dark blue top, Harman Kardon, uh, pretty well equipped piece, and really nice to see that with it. In fact, we still have the original VHS cassette still wrapped that this thing came with. So you can pop that in your VHS player if you still have one and learn about the car. Again, the great little leather key fob. Uh, in here, we've got a bunch of service records with the car. Nice that it came with it. You got your books with, uh, you know, whatever you need in there. All very incredible that uh, all that was retained so nicely with the vehicle. Again, it's exactly the kind of garage queen type thing that I love to get. Okay, let's uh, run the top up so you can see that. So uh, we're going to press this guy here. You see it lights up red. Top cover comes up like so. Folding cloth soft top comes, you know, pretty quickly into place. Pulls up the back. Puts down the cover. Puts down the rear. Nice. And puts down the front. Seals itself in. Keep your finger on the button. And it'll run all four windows up. 
and give you a nice quiet insulation inside. Lovely uh, insulated soft top, very, very nice. And I'll show you how that looks outside. It was funny, I had an argument with the guy who stopped by the other day that this was a replacement soft top. It had to be. Well, it's not any more than these are replacement headlights, which are so clear. Uh, this car just lived its life in the garage. Uh, it's got this beautiful, rich blue uh, soft top. There's not even a crease in it. There's no wear. Um, you know, this was kind of an older guy. He had a bit of a bad back. He just didn't drive the car very often. Enough to keep it fresh, but not enough to wear it out. And uh, the top was generally in the up position all the time, so uh, did not get a lot of folding or usage. Nice solid thud when you close the door. Nice blue tinted glass on the rear view mirrors. If I can get my seatbelt in. Still wearing a jacket, which is ridiculous because it's not warm enough not to. But uh, that's getting in the way of the seatbelt. So, anyway, let's go for a spin. So, every 3 Series has been beloved by the people who owned them and the biggest reason for that is just the lovely and incredibly sporty and nice way that they drive. Uh, the feedback you get from the steering wheel, the feedback you get from the brakes, it just feels like a car that's, you know, beautifully connected to the pavement uh, in a way that gives you a tremendous reward when you're driving it. This guy's desperate to not let us out again. Uh, the on-center feel from the steering wheel is perfection. It uh, finds its home target, you know, very, very nicely, stays neutral. And the minute you start turning the wheel, you just get lovely steering feel. And a nice, smooth kick from that, uh, that six. Uh, you know, you could say, wow, okay, it doesn't have a ton of horsepower but it uses every single one it's got and it makes the car just feel lovely going down the road. Uh, the brake feel is just absolutely terrific. Uh, the cornering, you know, it's all very lightened from the previous, the E36, the third generation. Uh, this car is supposed to be 70% stiffer than that one in terms of uh, its rigidity. And, you know, maybe they got that, maybe they didn't, but it's definitely a tighter, nicer car. Uh, you know, obviously with the convertible, you get a little more looseness than you would in the coupe, but it's been toned way, way down uh, by, uh, of course, those nutty engineers over there who, you know, spend their days coming up with ways to make things more complicated. Complicated. The nice thing is on a 3 Series, they just don't get to do it. They get to engineer a car well, but they don't get to make it so complex it becomes impossible to maintain. Uh, you know, this thing's a real cinch to keep going. Uh, not full of a bunch of hyper-technical gadgets, engineers showing off. You know, it's just a very quality-built car. Uh, you know, Honda Accord level reliability and made to just keep going and give the driver the pure joy of getting to work and back or weekend trips or top-down motoring. You know, it's just a fantastic piece. Uh, you know, this one, being an O2 with 30,000 miles, a one-owner Carfax, immaculate, uh, you could say this is going to be one of the first of the collectible types. You know, every BMW convertible is going to be collectible at some point. And uh, the E46, it's kind of its turn. Uh, you know, it's a beloved car. The top goes down. Uh, there's joy of driving. Uh, I think you're going to see the prices on these start edging up where, uh, up where at least on the good examples. Uh, there's so many rag bags out there. Uh, it's just nice to find one that's been preserved like new. So there it is, 2002 BMW 325CI Cabrio, M54 inline six engine, titanium silver outside, gray leather inside, sport premium, uh, blue soft top, 30,000 miles, come on. <laughs> this thing, it's worth more than I can ask for it. It really, really is. This car should be much more valuable than the asking price, but you know, it's kind of limited by just how uh, how nice it is in terms of what you can get for a few more bucks then. So anyway, rambling on, a fantastic car. If you have an interest, give us a call, 239-298-8000, on the web at aenaples.com. Thank you so much for having a look. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you with the next one. Take care.